Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. In this sub series, we are going to learn about the tab container controls. So, first let us take a look at the introduction to tab container. Then, in the coming videos, you will learn about the example. So, this is the example we will create. Then, we will see how to add tabs dynamically. Then we will study about the tab alignment. Then we will see different tab button styles. And finally, we will see how to change the tab into multi line tab controls. So let's say that we have a dialog box. and it contains a lot of other let's say we have a dialog box and it contains a lot of controls at uh, different uh, locations so is there a way to organize uh, these controls of course you can keep a group box then you can organize these controls but still you can see the dialog is populated with a lot of controls let's say this one is a text box and this one will be a checkbox like that there are a lot of controls and if you keep everything in one form it looks uh, clumsy and unorganized even if you keep group box so during that time what we can do we can place a tab and inside the tab you can add the control so just like a group box and a panel this tab is also considered as a container and here we will place the tabs so if you see here uh, we have two tab one is personal and another one is banking so once user clicks the personal then information related to personal patch will get displayed let's say this is the personal and these are all the controls for the banking so they may have different set of controls So, if you see here, it is just like designing two dialog. This is a dialog one and this is a dialog two. But here, if you see, we are attaching these two dialog inside one single form. So, once user clicks a personal, the personal form will get attached here and that will be shown. And if user clicks banking, then banking will get displayed on top of this personal. So that's the use of tab control here inside personal if you see you will group all the personal information uh, person information the same as a first name middle main last name sex age all those details banking means what is his account number what's his current balance and other contact information all those stuff okay now let's go to visual studio and see how these tab controls looks so here i am using visual studio 2005 you can use even the advanced ide the concept will be same so for now i am opening file new project and i am choosing windows application visual c ash windows windows application So that's the name I'm giving here. If you see here, we are having a form and inside the containers group, you can see the tab control. So just click, drag and drop it here. And by, by default, you will see here two tabs. So now let me run it you can see there are two tabs this is tab 1 and this is tab 2 
so now if we want to place some control inside this tab and before that we will go and change the uh, tab control I'm choosing properties then tab pages collection I'm accessing it and here you will see the tab page there are two pages at this moment I'm changing this text property So that's all. Now we changed the name. We also changed the uh, text property. So if you see text is first page and here you are seeing first page and the second page. So at the same time we changed the tab names. And if you want to add a new tab, click on add tab button and this will change the, I mean add a new tab. And as usual you can right click here choose property and go to collection and change the third one so third page name i am changing it as page 3 now we will add some control inside the page so here is the first page so what i'm doing i'm choosing common control and i'm adding two buttons here there are two buttons in first page now i am clicking the second page so first i selected the control after that you can see there is a highlight in the second page now i am clicking it then dragging and dropping the controls so if you see here this control blanks to the second page saving the content selecting the control i mean just clicking the uh, tab after that i am clicking again the third page now i'm adding the third one here and that's all now if i run this you can see all these controls here so first page two controls are displayed button one button two second page there are check boxes third page there is a uh, some control i added that is shown here i even forgot which one i added but what you can see here the controls are arranged inside a tab so now the form is the container top level container for this tab container and each tab is a container for some controls so here first page is a tab container and it contains button 1 and button 2 similarly the second page is one more container and that contains checkbox 1 checkbox 2 and checkbox 3 all right so this is the design time design time stuff for the tab container control in the coming videos we will see uh, how to use this tab control at runtime to add new pages and to change orientation and other stuff we will study with uh, the next coming examples that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye